What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing really well out there. My favorite day of the week, you guys know that I love a Thursday trip to the thrift and here we are, an opportunity to find some absolute treasure. Uh, if you're in a reselling by any means, guys, if you're here for the first time, if you've clicked on this video, it is a trip to the thrift. We are going into op shops today. I'll be showing you what I buy. I'll be showing you what it's projected to sell for on eBay. So if you're into it by any means, or if you wanna get into it, if you wanna learn a thing or two, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give this video a like as well, because that really is a great way to show support for the channel. Um, really looking forward to getting into it. It is nine o'clock and I do want to get stuck in. So let's jump into the first one. I'll go for a bit of a tour around the place and then I'll show you what I've picked up. Stop the music right there, guys. Uh, op shop number one, all done and dusted. I said I wanted to kick things off with a good start, and I reckon we've done all right. We've done pretty good. I've been able to just jump into the shoe section straight away. It's sort of where I go as soon as I get into the op shop. I go beeline straight to the shoes. Um, I managed to find these ASICs. Now, I love my footy boots, and we're coming into footy season. We're not too far away. The new year's finally here. Footy boots are a great one to get your hands on. Now, I've picked everything up today, five items, and I've paid just $5 a piece. Now, these were a really good pair of ASICs. I am starting to get a little bit particular with the shoe size that I'm purchasing. I don't want to buy short, um, small sizes. I want to get the larger size. So these are a seven and a half, and to be honest, that's borderline. I generally like to play uh, size eight and up. Um, in the US shoe sizings. Um, this one was a good one. These were the ASICS Gel Netburner Professional 13s, I think they were. Again, I've just paid $5 for these. The lady behind the counter was really good with her pricing. She basically just didn't even look at the price tags and just went uh, $25 for the lot. So I was really happy with that. It worked out to $5 each. Um, these are a size 10 and a half and these Gel Netburner Netball shoes they go on to sell pretty well. I've done a couple of them, so I'm going to keep buying them when I see them. Uh, and I also found these as well. Awesome to get these for just five because they had a price tag for 12. So the ladies really looked after me in the op shop there. Um, these have actually got a heel. So it's actually right there is the sole of the shoe. Um, so they're kind of a platform type Nike. Uh, I've got to do some more research on them. At $5, I wasn't going to say no. They are in very, very good condition. And the size on these ones was definitely ticking the boxes as well. Uh, nine, a US nine, a women's US nine. So they will sell, no doubt about it. Uh, I found this minion as well. He talks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, mate. Um, so he was again only five dollars. I generally go well, top end for plus uh, five bucks. I don't like to spend any more than that. Preferably, it'd be a little bit less. But because he talks, uh, the comps were going for about 25 to 30. The minions, I think this one's Kevin. Um, not that I know them too well, but I think that I'm going to get 25 to $30. So not too bad off a $5 spend. I do love to buy plush toys. It's a bit of an addiction. I've probably got to slow up because they are quite a slow-selling item. But um, whenever I do see them, like this sort of one, I'll always try and grab it. So um, that was good. Three pairs of shoes, a plush. And then I also found this Denver Broncos NFL T-shirt. Now, this one was good because it was comping for about $35 dollars plus postage um nothing on the back but it, this one's a genuine one this has got nfl team apparel right there for you to have a look at so nothing wrong with that one in great nick size medium i'm okay with that um, we'll turn that into 35 plus postage i think pretty comfortably so that was it five items we spent 25 dollars. i'm feeling good about things we're going to dive into number two and hopefully we can do even better than what we just did there
So a pretty good op shop run for number two. I managed to buy a number of clothing items and another pair of shoes as well. So I'll go through those. I had a look through absolutely everything in that op shop, but it was just clothing that I came away with. Um, not too disappointed. It was again, a $5 day. Uh, every, every item in this one was $5. So everything that you see uh, will be at that price. I found an RM Williams, you would have seen it in there, uh, a short sleeve striped uh, RM Williams shirt. Uh, a great brand and I always seem to sell the RM Williams brand incredibly fast. So this is in like new condition. It's hardly been worn, you can just tell. I think I'll be able to make, you know, 25 to $30 on that. Um, I also found another great brand, which I always buy whenever I see it, and it's Kathmandu. Uh, this one's a size large. It's like a hiking, lightweight hiking shirt. Um, again, just five bucks, we'll turn that into 25. Now these are quite common in the op shop, certainly where I'm from, um, these Nike Tour Performance uh, golf uh, polo shirts. So as you can see there, it's Nike, it's Tour Performance. This is um, a 2XL and the $80 retail. If you're going in and you're wanting to play some golf, you're gonna pay about 80 bucks to get that in brand new Nick. I've only paid five, so I think I'm gonna be able to get, and the comps say around about the $30 mark. So that was a good one. I found another one as well in green. So I found two, paid $5 each. We'll try and turn both of them into $30 each plus postage. So a $25 profit, which is pretty good for a piece of clothing. Um, I also found the Nautica uh, pants as well. So. Um, a good size on these. These are a 34 uh, width and a 34 length. Um, the brand or the make of this one is the Spinnaker Pan. So hopefully I could find a Spinnaker Pan uh, comp for you guys to have a look at, but there it is there. And it's a size 34, 34. So a really good size in very good condition, just a plain pan. But uh, again, the Nautica brand, I, I like to personally buy it. Um, I think it goes on to sell pretty well. Uh, the other one as well is my favorite pair of running shoes to find in the thrift, the Asics uh, Gel Kayanos. These are a women's shoe, uh, the Del Cayano 24s. I am an art about these. They were five dollars, so you know they are the premium shoe. They were a good two hundred and eighty dollars, brand new. But these have had a, a little bit of wear on them. Um, they're not awful, so much so that I did go ahead and buy them. But they're not in the best condition. I'm going to give them a really good clean, but it was more so. It was more so just the sole has had a little bit of wear, and I'm always wary of that. Um, but I just thought I'd go ahead, just grab them. I normally sell the Kayanos for anywhere between $50 to $100. I think these are going to be more like $30 to $40 um, just because of the wear. I, I think they're going to go down in price on these ones. But I, I had to pick them up because I, it's, if you've watched this channel, you know that I love my Kayanos. So for $5, I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't turn away from that. So that was everything. Um, it was a number of items of clothing, uh, a, a Sri Lankan cricket jersey. I don't know if I showed you this. Um, oh, actually, there was another one as well. Shit, I've had a, I've had a mare there. Um, so this was the Sri Lankan um, cricket top or jersey. Um, I think I can get 25 to 30. I love to collect jerseys. There's always fans out there. Cricket's obviously, it's the summertime. There's a lot of cricket being played. I think they will sell pretty well. And then I found this, which is, I think is a bit of a vintage piece. This was Charlie Brown. Um, but the tag was the one that sort of caught my eye with this one. I've paid just $5. Um, and there it is there. That's the tag on it. So it looked, it looked like it could be potentially some vintage. Um, there it is there as well on the other side. So very much an authentic piece, but as for vintage, I'm not 100% sure, but I thought I would run the risk and give that a try for $5, and we'll just see how it goes on eBay. So I thought I'd um, grab that one as well. So a bunch of clothing items in there. I do sort of, as I mentioned before, I do look across the board, but it just so happened to be clothing there. So let's get into op shop number three. We'll keep charging on, um, feeling pretty good about it because we're starting to build up some items here. Let's hope number three is a good one.
That op shop was a fun one, guys. That was really cool. I kind of stepped away from the clothing and I thought I'd spend some time in the books and the CDs and pretty much every other category. Um, the shoes, you would have seen really overpriced, $20 plus for every pair of shoes that were worthwhile. So I had to say no to that. Um, clothing was pretty expensive as well. I ended up buying just the one item of clothing. Uh, as much as I stayed away, I did have a quick look. Um, I spent $8 on this linen uh, Nautica shirt. So it's a, a short sleeve, uh, really nice pattern to it. It is my size, so I will wear it a couple of times before it sells. But a linen shirt, the Nautica brand, I think, I think the $8 is gonna be okay for an investment. Um, a little bit more than what I'd normally pay for clothing, but I thought I'd just go with it. The hat was an absolute ripping find. This has never been worn. Now, this is the brand is Mitchell & Ness, and if you can find Mitchell & Ness in clothing, hats, anything like that, that is the brand that you want to be getting your hands on. It's always worth a lot of money. And this is an absolutely authentic, vintage uh, New England Patriots cap. Uh, it's even got the vintage uh, in here as well, NFL vintage. There it is there. I've seen a comp uh, on eBay for this one, brand new, and I, I, I would call this brand new. It literally hasn't been worn. Uh, $55 plus postage for this cap. Now, I've paid $4. So four bucks into what should be, I, I believe, a $50 profit here. Um, that was just an unbelievable find. Do spend a bit of time looking in the cap section. You just never know. And that, that I might even wear that myself. That, that's just a really cool hat. Um, I also found this, which uh, it really pays. Now this is, I don't even know exactly what it is. It's a Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery flying snitch. If you're a Harry Potter fan out there, you're gonna know a whole lot more than I do. Um, I am a Harry Potter fan, but it was from a long time ago when the movies first came out. So. I'm a bit outdated with my Harry Potter uh, knowledge. But look, this item here, I've paid $8. I just picked it up and did a comp search and I highly encourage you guys do that. Just spend a bit of time doing comp searches on stuff you would just never normally buy and just see, see what the price is. This one here, brand new boxed, just like this one, $40, I believe, on memory. Um, I'll have to do a bit of a double check on the pricing, but it was certainly $30 to $40 new. So this box is in very good condition. I think I'm gonna go for the same sort of a price. If I can turn that into $40, that's a really good pickup for just eight bucks. And I spent a lot of time in the book section because I think books are underrated. I think if you do look hard enough, you can find some pretty good money in the books. They do sit around for a while on eBay. The sell-through rate, it takes a while. Um, but I found a couple of books um, that were obviously at a fair price. I think I've just paid $3 each for these. Um, but this one was the first one. So stories for boys um, who dare to be different. Now, I bought this one because it was a hard cover, which is obviously something you wanna buy when you're buying books. Um, I also bought, uh, I also thought I'd go ahead with it because the comps were telling me that there were a lot of sales for it, a lot of sales. And the strength of the sell through rate caused me to pick this one up. It was the exact same scenario for this one here. Um, this one is Goodnight Stories for Rebel Girls. So I picked this one up as well because the comps were telling me it was about $27 uh, plus postage and there were a lot of sales for it. So I've grabbed that one as well. Two really good quality, like new hardcover books that should hopefully make me about $55 and I've paid just six bucks for it. So every now and again, I do like to pick up the books. I'm really happy with that. That was a good pickup. Um, all right, so we've done three op shops. Um, I was pretty excited by that little haul there. That was a really good grab out of just the one op shop. We're gonna do one more. I always like to do four. So let's move on to op shop number four and see if we can round out this day with an absolute perler. All right, let's do it.
Hey guys, awesome finish there with that last stop shop of the day. Uh, found a few things, found a few new things. There's one thing that I wanna show you right now, which is a new brand that I've never seen, but geez, the comps were healthy uh, when I had a look on eBay. And it was this woolen uh, pullover jacket or jumper. Um, now the brand, the brand, I don't know if you guys have come across it. Let me know in the comments if you have, but uh, you would have seen it before. It's, it's Paul and Shark Yachting. So there it is there, Paul and Shark Yachting. Um, this is in like new condition and the comps were talking 60, 70, 80 odd dollars. Um, we're obviously just coming out of the summertime, heading into the winter. This one would be a great one to hold on to. Uh, this is a size large, I believe it's a men's. Um, to be honest, it could even be unisex. Um, it's got the nice little patch on it as well. 100% wool, uh, a few pockets on it as well. Uh, and the brand, the brand was just, you know, comping really well. So I had to grab this. Now I've paid just $8. I wouldn't normally look in the women's section. I don't spend enough time in there. This is where I found this one. It was hiding in the women's section. So any blokes out there that are going out thrifting and not spending any time in the women's section, you're leaving stuff like this uh, by the wayside. You really want to have a look. I, I need to personally spend more time in it. And that's vice versa. Girls, if you're out there just looking in the girls' aisles, hopefully my videos are helping you and you can dive into the men's and, and look for some men's brands. Speaking of one men's brand that I love to get my hands on and not only did I find it today but I've also found it with tags as well uh, the brand is RVCA so there it is right there RVCA it is my favorite brand um, this one was just seven dollars brand new with tags the comp on well the brand new retail price there 80 Australian dollars for these shorts and they've come with the tags they are a 19 inch uh, waist on them they are brand spanking new and I've paid just $7. So I'm gonna try and get at least, I would say probably about 60 bucks for these. Um, I'll go 60 free postage, and with the tag on it, I'll probably get it. Um, so an awesome brand to look out for, RVCA. Um, there were some good comps on these as well, going for about $40. I'm gonna clean all that up with some gumption and some sugar soap when I get home. The soles aren't too bad on these ones. I've paid just $8. They're gonna clean up really nicely. Now these, the size on these is a US 9. Uh, I believe they are a men's shoe, uh, the Vasey New Balance Urge. So. I'd love to obviously find running shoes. I always look for them and I spied these in pretty good condition once they're clean. I think I'm gonna be able to get about 40 bucks for those. So that was a good one there, paid just $8. Um, and then I bought I bought Friday Night Lights, the box set of Friday Night Lights. I have never spent $29 on an item like this in an op shop before, but the comps were telling me that I could get about $60. I know you've got to take out the fees and everything. I'm probably only going to profit about $15 from this once it's done, but I don't know. I just couldn't really say no. There were a number of sales on this item on eBay. Uh, it is a box set. I have paid up on it and I probably, I know a lot of you out there watching wouldn't have picked this one up, but hey, $15, $20 profit would be a good result if I can get it, which I think I will. And the last thing is I grabbed a calculator too. Um, so scientific calculators, I paid $2 for this. Um, that will sell for at least $15 to $20 in very quick time on eBay. So it's just one of those ones, those sort of bread and butter items. When you see it, just pick it up. Um, they generally only cost you a dollar or two and you can make a quick $10, $15 out of it. So I picked up the scientific calculator as well. So another five items in that one. Uh, I think I've ended up paying about $50 all up in there because of the, obviously the Friday night lights costing me 29 but um i was still absolutely wrapped uh with the way the day's gone the day's been a, a really good day i think there's been another 30 odd items or maybe less maybe about 20 items i'll have to go and count them all up um spent some decent money but uh, again probably the average uh, purchase price here is about six six dollars seven dollars something like that uh, so not too bad at all. Um, it's been a fun day, four op shops ticked off. I do need to get home. I need to list at least 15 items because that's what I'm trying to do now. 15 items listed every single day and I'm trying to thrift and purchase as much as I can you know, three, four, five times a week as well. So the volume is increasing and hopefully the sales increase as a result. Uh, you've just got to remain, you know, consistent, keep charging, keep working really hard, list every day and try and buy stuff that will sell and use your comps on eBay, do everything that you have to do to get the job done and the results will come. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to finish it off. Half the job is done. I'll end the uh, video here. I'm going to shoot back home and, uh, and get onto this listing. But I really do appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. Thanks very much. Remember to leave a like if you got anything out of it. I look forward to catching you in the next episode. Until then, we'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.